What's up everyone, Clark Glassford, founder of My Practice Interview, where I help you land your dream job. And today we're talking about answering a fundamental question when you start, like before you start your preparation, you need to answer this about yourself. Why and what? Huh? Yeah, why and what? Why do you want the role? Why are you looking to make a move? Good question to answer for yourself. What do you bring to the table? What sets you apart from all the other applicants that may be applying for the job that you are going or the jobs that you're going to be applying for? The why and the what is absolutely key to your success in establishing a solid foundation for your interview preparation. So we're going to talk about that coming up, but before we get there, you're here for a reason. You're here for career advice. You're here for interview advice. You may just want to know how to answer certain questions about job interviews that you keep facing over and over again. Guess what? You've come to the right place. Every week, I post new videos on my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe right now so you don't miss any of them. Tons of videos there, all free, all for your viewing pleasure. In the links below, there's my contact information. If you need to get a hold of me, you want to just talk about some problems you're having with getting through the interview process or some of my services that I offer to help you get through those processes, send me a note. We'll talk, we'll devise a plan for you. It will be fantastically tailored to your needs. So with that said, let's get into it. Here we go. So we're talking about the why and what. Two fundamental questions that I work with clients on when we start our coaching sessions together, before we do anything, before we talk about different types of interview questions, maybe writing resumes or doing mock interviews, those types of things, I get my clients to define and make a list as to why they're looking to make a move, why they're looking at a specific company or a specific job, and then what they bring to the table. And why are those things important? Answering the why is going to set you up for being in the mindset for applying for specific jobs. Really important. So why are you looking to make a change? Is it time for a change? Are you applying to specific companies because you're enthusiastic about working for that organization and or the roles within those organizations? Does or do your values align with the company's values? Is that something that's intriguing and exciting to you? You've got personal goals. Is this part of a step in your personal goals? Is it part of a step in your professional goals? And at the end of the day, what's the most important thing in life is joy. You need to be happy in doing what you're doing. So is this career change all about trying to reach that next level of happiness and being happy in the role you're doing? It's a real simple exercise. I get clients to just make quick bullet points on a piece of paper about why they're looking to apply. That sets a foundation for you to have the mindset, okay, which roles are going to be important to me? Which organizations are going to be important to me? Because guess what? One of the most fundamental questions are that you're going to be asked in an interview. Why did you apply for this job? So starting with the very beginning as to why you're applying can help you set the stage for when you get to that interview as to why you've applied for the role and the company that you've applied for. The next question here is the what? So what? What do you bring to the role? What do you bring to the role that separates you from other applicants? Well, I've got a great video here. You'll see it up here. You'll see it in the links down below. It's called the 360 degree view of you. And it sets the stage for you to define your what. What is it that sets you apart? And it breaks it down to four quadrants. Your education, your experience, your volunteer work, and your life accomplishments. It's a really simple exercise to start outlining, making quick little notes here about what you bring to the table. Once you go through that exercise, you're gonna start seeing what your what is. Your what being what sets you apart? What makes you an attractive applicant? And that sets the stage for your preparation and how you go about preparing for specific answers that you're going to be asked as to what your what is. So those are two really easy little exercises to do, but I want you to do them right at the beginning before you've done anything else, even before you've started writing your resume. Define your why, 
define your what. Quick tips, little tips, big results. Again, little tip, big result. So define your why, define your what. That's it for this week's video. As always, in the links below is a copy of my practice interview ebook. Gives you a step-by-step -step approach as to how you prepare for job interviews. But the key thing in that book is there are sample interviews which allow you to practice. It's free. You can download it right now. Don't wait. Get in there, download the book. It's yours for free. The other thing you're going to see in the links below is a link to the Interview Accelerator Workshop. It's a digital workshop that allows you to learn how to prepare for job interviews starting with how you write your resume, your cover letter, the different interview questions you can be asked, how you answer those questions, and the pitfalls and landmines that applicants find themselves in. I've got over 20 years of interviewing experience. I've seen it all. I will explain what those pitfalls are, how you navigate them, how you just avoid them all together, and how you hear those magic words, you're hired. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And like I always say, keep on rocking those interviews.